I'm Joelle and welcome to Fluffy Kawaii Show. Today it's a new Vlogmas video and I'm going to tell you about our gift giving tradition in my family. So as you know Vlogmas is an event where YouTubers do a video every day. This is my video for today of Vlogmas and today I'm telling you about how we exchange gifts in my family. If you haven't heard about how we celebrate Christmas in Switzerland, then you can look at my other video. I will link it up there. Maybe it's not released yet, but when it's released, I'm gonna put a link. So today I'm gonna go deeper into how we exchange gifts. So basically about at least five years ago, or even more, we decided not that everybody gives a gift to everybody else. And some people do some kind of secret center where they pick the name of somebody and they do a Christmas gift for that person. But we decided to do something similar but a bit different and it's actually kind of a game. So we have a budget, something around 20 US dollars and we do buy a gift. We don't know for who it will be, we just buy one gift that could be whatever and so it could be for anyone else. And the day of the Christmas party we just put all our gifts on one table and we make paper with numbers from one to the number of people that we are and then everybody picks a number then the person with number one has no choice than opening one of the gifts from the table then he opens it and he puts it in front of him on the table or on the floor so people can see what it is then it's the turn of people with the number two. So number two can either open a new gift or steal the gift from anyone who has already opened the gift. So they can either pick the gift that person number one just opened because they know what it says, or they can just open a new gift. And then if they open a new gift, then that's the end of the turn and that's the person number three can play but if they if they steal the gift of person number one person number one can open a new gift okay usually they could steal also from somebody else but you cannot get the same gift during the turn so in that case person number one let's say that it's been stolen the gift so they open a new gift so every time somebody opens a gift from the middle then it's the end of the turn and we start a new turn so when it's turn number three the person having number three can either steal the gift from number two or number one or open a new one so that's, that's if you start or if you're last maybe you have less choice but let's say that you are maybe number 10 you have so many different gifts that you can decide to steal and then that starts to become really funny because you can make alliances for example if my boyfriend had already had one gift during the turn so he cannot steal it anymore but next time people i'm sure that will steal my gift so i'm like okay so next i think you should steal this gift so then i can steal this gift and so that's it and at the end we even allow that people trade stuff but it's really really funny we just it lasts about half an hour to an hour and we're just laughing the whole time because some gifts are um, so different and so funny and most of the time people will each year they, they will have fights for just one gift and you don't know why this is something really cool some real f good food or uh, drinks or a t-shirt or s random things that people just fight for this and you know that if you want somebody else something else but you can't have it this turn but if you can steal the one that everybody wants then you will definitely be able to trade it for someone something else and so that's just so funny but when you're last you just have to open the last present 
that is on the table so that's a bit less fun if you're first or last but usually that's a really really cool tradition that we do and it's just playing a game we're just enjoying ourselves all the whole family together usually during the whole party you will have small conversation of two or three people everywhere and at the table also you uh, on when you eat you only speak to the person close to you but that's something that all of us play together and that is so much fun and even people that are new um, to the family like a uh, new boyfriends or something who don't know so many people they can just participate very easily without having to know the people or spend so much money on their in-laws the family that they don't know so much so i think that's a really really great tradition that we've come up with i don't know if somebody from my family invented it or if they found about it or something but really we just enjoy doing that each year and uh, usually what I like to do is I like to buy food and get food because I really love food and usually it's really traditional or um, specialty from somewhere else or something really special so I love to take when it's food instead of a book that I know that might be fun but I won't read it that much and will just collect this on my bookshelf so um, I think I really like to give out food because it's something that people can enjoy and consume and then it's gone and it's not laying around in your apartment so that's our weird and fun gift exchange tradition in our family so i would like to know about yours do you do something like that or secret santa style or do you make gifts to each person of in the family and is it something that is popular in your country or did you change the traditions while growing up or something so i'm really interested in knowing how it is for you guys all around the world how do you exchange gifts for christmas or whatever other holiday that you might have in this end of the year holiday season so i would like to thank you if you are a patreon or subscribe to my channel and if you are not please consider doing so and don't forget to watch all my other vlogmas videos because instead of posting a video every two days for december i'm posting one every one day so see you tomorrow bye bye